June is National Men's Health Month, and this weekend the Cameron County Health Department is hosting a health fair just for men. Veronica Ramirez, Marco Lozano, along with his father Raul Lozano, are here to talk more about the event. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you being here with us this morning. Thank, Thank you, you for having us today. You're welcome. Veronica, you're the health educator with the department. Why is this fair so important to have in Cameron County? That is correct. So this is the first time that we are doing a men's annual uh, awareness fair to really just bring attention to men's health. There's not many entities or agencies that focus on bringing awareness and prevention to men's health. So um, we just thought it would be a great idea, reach the community, reach the population that needs to just learn about the importance of men's health. Well, Marco, tell us a little bit why you're such a strong opponent of an event, proponent of an event like this. Well, uh, this issue hits home to me. Um, and as Father's Day approaches, and I get a little emotional about this because I have my father here with me here this morning, is the impact that it has on men. Um, our reluctancy as men, our stubbornness to get checked, to do those annual physical examinations that are recommended, uh, preventing heart disease, preventing heart attacks, preventing cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer. Uh, you know, I, I had an experience just six months ago uh, where my dad went in for an annual checkup. Uh, the next thing you know, the very next day, he's having open heart surgery to uh, do a, a double bypass and double valve replacement. Um, very extensive surgery. Um, but you know, the situation when I look back, you know, for him, I'm glad it was a situation where he went in for a physical examination and was able to prevent a heart attack from happening rather than getting that phone call at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. that your father or your loved one has had a massive heart attack and doesn't know whether or not he's going to live. Uh, so I think that that's the impact for me. Um, you know, we, we need to encourage men, get out there, go see your physician and, and get checked. And speaking of that, Raul, what made you finally decide to go to the doctor? Uh, actually, I, I did go five years ago, but I was a walking time bomb not knowing when I went in November, early November to, to get my, uh, after my endocrinologist uh, referred me to the cardiologist because I had a murmur in my heart that wasn't there before, so I just happened to go in and, and that's how we found out that there was some, a problem and uh, I'm, 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 I thank God that it was taken care of, you know, and, and we immediately had this surgery and, and it's been, it's gonna be six months next week. Wow. Then, <laughs> and I feel good, thank, thank God. That's yeah. awesome. That, did you personally have a reason why you just stayed away from the doctor all those years? Uh, I, I guess we are very stubborn, you know, and, and this is, I wanna encourage men. This, you, need to, you need to go see the doctor. We just lost a friend last week, Friday. 55 year old, because he, f he and his doctor referred him to the, to, the, to the specialist and he failed to do so. And he had a massive heart attack. I encourage men, you need to go see the doctor and if he tells you to go see the specialist, go see the specialist. You need to do it. Well, Veronica, why do you suppose men avoid going to the doctor? Um, I guess, um, you know, our, our population, um, there's just a lot of fear or uh, men just don't feel comfortable being examined, probed, you know, poked. So um, it's, it's really unfortunate, but at the same time, we as a partner, whether it be the spouse, the daughter, the mother, the sister, the aunt, that really should encourage our men, you know, our men, our spouses, our brothers, our uncles, to get those exams done. But, um, you know, we really need to raise awareness. There's a lot of health issues out there especially among men that really need to be known. We're partnering with Texas Oncology here in Harlingen, and we've learned that one in two men will develop cancer, and out of those men here in Cameron County, approximately uh, 1,000 will be diagnosed with cancer, and one-third of those will lose their battle to cancer. So there's so much awareness to raise, and um, it's just really important for us to encourage you know, our men to, to get screened, get exams done, and get their checkups. And again, the fair is on Saturday at the Bass Pro Shops in Harlingen, and you're encouraging men to wear blue ties tomorrow, or tomorrow right? Uh, or Friday. On Friday. On Friday, uh, Cameron County, and we want to thank our county judge, county commissioners. Uh, we proclaim Saturday, uh, Friday, June the 16th as Blue Tie Day in Cameron County. So we encourage all our Cameron County residents, if you are employed um, in Cameron County, wear your blue tie to work. Let's try to encourage men's health awareness. Uh, you know, once they ask the question, uh, why are you wearing a blue tie? That's an opportunity to speak about the issue at hand and talk about the importance of men's health.
All right. Well, we want to thank you again for being here with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it.